everyone and welcome back to Satisfactory. I am Arctic Wolf and this is episode 13. In our last episode we unlocked oil processing. And I explained that just to the south of our main base down the shoreline was some oil. So if you look up here to the north you see our space elevator right there if you look right just above my cursor right there you can actually see a reflection of the main base modular frames assembly building and where the conveyor belt where the ores are coming in so you can actually see the base from here and if I hit my scanner and scan for crude oil. You'll see that right in front of us is a node. Right there's a node. Right there's a node. And there's a node back there on that island over there. So there's four nodes here. Now, as you can see by the monsters patrolling around the area, I haven't actually went down there and looked at them yet. But this is the plan for this episode. We're going to go as far as we can to get the oil out of the ground pump to a centralized location somewhere, refine into the heavy oil residue and the plastic and the rubber that we need to get the manufacturing going, the industrial manufacturing unlocked in the hub. Then we're going to unlock industrial manufacturing in the hub. We're going to have to find some quartz, probably. We're going to have to work on computers so that we can get the advanced electrical network so that we can get the fuel generators so that we can build our power plant system here. So that's the plan for this episode. Um, I will see you when I got some progress here. Okay, we're back. I've been busy as you can probably see so what I did um, if you look over there you can see a, or a oil extractor there's one over there those two are sitting on pier nodes so there's 240 and 240 and then these two here are on normal nodes, so that's another 120 and another 120, so that's 480 and 240, which is, let's see, N calculator, 240 times 3, I should know this, it's going to be 720, yeah, I should know that. I'm better at math than that. Anywho. Yeah, so I got 720, not 900 oil per minute. But I can overclock all four of those if I need to. But as you can see right here, I'm not even using all of it that I have connected. In fact, there's not even power run out there yet. So we're only using that one over there. So we got 240 coming in right there. And since we're only using 240, we only need six refineries for that. This is why we're only using one. Um, I don't want to use the coal power to run this thing. I want to get to the oil power as soon as possible which is I have to get some plastic and rubber out of this before I can do that I may have to handcraft a couple of computers to do that so what I got is I got three of them making plastic and as you can see it brings in 30 and it spits out 20 plastic and then you got 10 of the heavy fluid residue left over so all the leftovers is getting set down here into this storage unit right now and then I'm going to expand that vertically and when I put a lid on top of this thing the power plants are going to go 
up on top and we'll have another set of refineries up there with them turning the heavy oil residue into fuel with this recipe here and then however much fuel we're using will determine how many power plants we put down but they're twice as effective as the coal power plants so we'll get a lot more power out of that but for right now we got three of them making plastic now it's weird because the oil or the rubber recipe down here is different it still brings in 30 and you get your 20 parts per minute but you also get 20 fluid for per minute so you get twice as much fluid out of the rubber as you do the plastic and you have to account for that on your outgoing pipes over there so this line can handle 300 and it's only getting 90 right now so it's getting 10 20 30 and then 20, 40, 60, and 30 and 60 is 90. So that's got 90 of the heavy oil residue going into the storage pits. With the rubber is coming out on the bottom. See, I did this the opposite of the coal power plant. I put the pipe on top and the belts on the bottom. And uh, when you're working with these pipes, if you hit the R key, you see how it says current build mode right to the right of my cursor? I hit the R key, it changes that. And that changes what the pipes look like when you're doing this. And that makes these nice little vertical and 90 degree corner pipes when you're putting these on. Or you can have them if you'd rather go with like 2D conveyor or default. It'll make it an angle if you're not too close. Anyway. The uh, rubber comes out here, the plastic comes out here, or no, this is rubber down at this end, that's plastic at that end, but it's 60 each, each one makes 20, 40, 60, I one mark one line, I connect them into the walls, they run down here, they go into the storage bins. And the storage bins are set up to spit it out to go to whatever's out there, a train station, a truck stop, whatever I feel like putting here. But that can take all the plastic and rubber back to base. So that's where we're at for right now. Um, this thing's all set up. That miner, all these are all connected to the power grid. So as soon as I connect this to here, let's see, grab that. How I've been doing this, I hit the F key to go to destruct mode and then I just middle mouse click on whatever I want to grab and then that m puts me in build mode holding that item, making that thing. Oh, and I just got shot by that guy. He's not friendly. He's a meanie. I gotta go inside so he can't see me. Yikes. That guy's rough. He comes in here, I'm gonna get him, but... I don't think he can see me no more. He'll despawn. Okay, he went that way. Okay. Whew. It's dangerous. I ran out of medical inhalers over here. That guy keeps attacking me. I killed him a couple times, but he just keeps coming back. <laughs> so. Anyway. Now this is on. You can see all the lights are on. I'm gonna let this run. Auto save. I'm gonna let this run. I'm gonna get some rubber and some plastic and everything else I need for the next upgrade in the hub. Oh yeah, this 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 is cool here too. These things fit through these big gate doors. It's great. Take you guys for a trip back to the hub, back to the main base, show you where it's at. build a couple of bridges over top of some lakes and stuff just to get here.
part right through here is pretty fun, Baja and through the dunes. eventually. take too long for them machines to spit out 200 of each of those so here we go in the hub I need a hundred motors there we go 200 plastic 200 rubber okay there we go, there we go. and a thousand cable there we go Milestone reach. The manufacturer increases production complexity. A critical look at production line logistics and efficiency is recommended during integration. The truck allows for increased efficiency in transportation, automated or otherwise. New project parts enable progress to the next phase. Yes, yes, and yes. We wanted all of that. Now, we can make computers. Where was it in here for? Oh, there it is. Okay, so we can make the heavy modular frames too. We're going to have to do that. We're going to have to make computers so that we can get in the expanded power infrastructure. Why is the conveyor mark for an expanded power? Oh, because there isn't a logistics mark for it. Okay, so expanded power gives us the conveyor belts that uh, use the encased beams. That's good. And lets us scan for criterium. That's going to be helpful. Okay, so that's the next objective. We've got to build a machine that can make a factory that can make heavy modular frames, and we've got to build a factory that can make computers. So that's next. Okay, here we are up on top of the waterfall at our coal power plant. Now what we've done here is we used to have two Mark 1 miners back here feeding one 240 line of coal. I went and upgraded those so now that they're both Mark 2 sitting on pure coal nose giving us 240 each. So I ran separate belts for each miner and now we got another bay over here on this truck stop that is 
taking it down to base to the other side of the base so that we can use it for steel above our motors factory I'm gonna hop down jump in my tractor and I'll run down there and I will show you where the pickup location for this drop-off station is this is the pickup I'll show you where the drop-off station for this pickup is and I will be with you in a second okay we're back down at the base I'm standing on a watchtower down here in front of the motors factory space elevator right directly behind me there's where the coal is getting dropped off right there that other tractor comes from that other bay up there and comes down the mountain follows the same path as the first one except when he gets to here instead of going across there and dropping off over there he takes a, a hard left and then comes down around this way and comes up here and drops off and it goes back down around that way and then goes back across that bridge and then he's back on the same road up to the coal and the coal I got a 200 and 70 line coming off the back of there going up here and elevated up into that storage bin right there and we're gonna make stators well first we got to make steel pipes we're gonna make as many steel pipes as we can make with the 240 coal which means we're gonna tap into two of those lines in the back back there of which we have four left so we're going to tap into two of those and we're going to use that to make steel pipes. We're going to route a small portion of the steel pipes over to a stator assembler and we're going to get some cable, probably just one 60 line of copper just to make enough cable to support one stator machine so that we can get that motor machine running at full tilt then we're going to go down around back behind there and make a heavy modular frames factory with whatever steel pipe we have left we will match the ingredients with iron and produce that many heavy modular frames however many that happens to be once that's done work will start on the computers right next door to it but that is where we are at right now I'm working on getting to the advanced power so we can get the fuel generators because I can't support all of this with that tiny little coal generator and I know it used to be the big huge deal when we first made it 600 megawatts oh my goodness we only need like 120 when we built it now we're getting to the point where if we put in too many more things and turn too many things on we're gonna crash our power grid so this has to be resolved so I'm gonna get to work in the, the heavy modular frames is gonna go right here and however far over that way it goes we'll put a wall in between the two and then that's all computer factory area over there and we got the iron and the copper that we're gonna need for the computers right there we got the other iron we're gonna need for the steel and the heavy modular frames right there so that's gonna end up using all the rest of these resources right here for this big setup and we're gonna have to bring some plastic over here from there to get the computers going but that's all gonna have to be next time if you like this video give me a thumbs up hit the like button 
If you're enjoying this series and you like what I'm doing on my channel here, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to see when my videos come out, go ahead and hit that notification bell. And you'll be notified when my videos arrive. But that's all for today. Wolf out.